Hello everybody, this is Ice, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video I just want to try something a little bit different. On Aura I built all kinds of stuff. I built crazy gigantic stuff like the SGPU and calculator. I built medium stuff like that unfinished multiplier up there. And I built really small circuit components like what you see here. I think oftentimes the circuit components don't get nearly the recognition they should compared to my other stuff. Because they're pretty nice. So, I'm going to be starting a new mini-series in which I basically showcase a component each video. The videos will be very short, between 2 and 3 minutes, and they will just focus on the simple idea of the circuit and building one cell. The first creation I have to showcase with this is this thing. This is a very, very, very compact binary counter. Now, the difference between this and the normal binary counters you've always seen is that this one has no pistons. Now, these no piston binary counters have been showcased by Benny Skube before, and by other people too, but they haven't been this size. This thing is so small, and th in fact, I think it's smaller than the typical piston binary counters. It's very easy to build, and very easy to fit into your builds. So, I'll just show you that it works. If we come in here and hit the clock, we'll have a 1 in binary. Hit it again. This will carry over to the next bit. 3. 4. And so on. It is a very, very simple binary counter that can be used for tons of things. Hopefully you understand how binary works. If not, as always, I have a video on my channel about it. But there you go. So now we are going to get into actually building a unit of this. Okay, so let's actually start by building a module of this thing, and then we'll see how we can stack them together. So the first thing we're going to need is a repeater lock T flip-flop. Now this is a super innovative design that's been around for a while, but I love it, it's amazing. So we're going to have these three repeaters set up like this, then we're going to have a half slab here. This isn't needed for the T flip-flop, but you'll see why we need it in a bit. And you're going to put another redstone dust here. Now, for our first cell, I guess this will be our first cell, we want to put a... Well, actually, for our first cell, this shouldn't be a half slab. We're going to have redstone here, a three-tick repeater coming into here, up into a block, a torch. This torch is going to go up into a block, and this redstone dust goes here. So now, if we hit this button, we should see that this T flip-flop will toggle, just fine. And this T flip-flop is fairly, fairly simple if you haven't seen it before. It's pretty common design, so there you go. This is actually the first bit of our binary counter. So for the second bit, what we're actually going to do is we're going to make a half slab coming up here, and you'll see how this works in a minute here. You're going to put two blocks like this. You're going to come up with repeaters just like before, not on half slabs though, like so. Now you're going to put two blocks here, and another repeater here, that should lock. And now you're almost done. The only thing you need to do is you have to come down here, this block here, which is going to take output from this repeater. You're going to come into another block, like so, put redstone on these two, and put a torch here. And now that is that done, so we can stick down our other output here, like so. So now we can kind of grab ourselves some lamps here, like so. And if we try this out, let's see what happens. Grab ourselves a button. As you can see, the first one, this will toggle. The second time we hit it, it will go to two, it will carry over. Third time, this will happen, we'll get three, and then it will carry over because there are no more bits to go to. Now, if we wanted to add a third bit, say, well, we can do it in just the same way. Come up with a half slab here, and a block out. Two repeaters here bring them up, oop, I think I set that to a delay, yeah, and then bring your blocks up here, come down with your output, and just like that, you have made another module. The only thing you have to make sure to do is to connect this torch in, like so. And just like that, you can create any number of modules. Now, this basically works because of this carry line. When we hit the button the first time, this will be powered from this torch, and this will be powered from this torch, so only this T flip-flop will be activated. The second time, this output has come down here and deactivated this torch, which will mean that this can toggle, turning it off, and the next one can also toggle, turning it on. 
and that will count it to in binary. Now we'll go back to what he was doing before, and now we'll see that we have these three. This means that both of these two torches will be off, which means that this entire carry line will briefly pulse off, toggling all of the flip-flops, which is exactly what we want. So hopefully that's a pretty neat build. If you like these simple little videos, then please make sure to leave a comment below telling me that you do. And there you go. As always, make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, well, bye now.